Hi guys, Rene Molina for PSTV5 Online. Recently, I got to meet a good friend from Wellington, Jenny Ann Barreto, one of the geophysicists and geologists of GNS Sciences. She was in Auckland recently at the MOTAT, at the Museum of Transport and Technology, during the STEM Fair, the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Maths Fair. Her company, GNS Sciences, was um, presenting something very unique. It was like a, a model of um, how the Earth would look like using sand and uh, technology. And, you know, um, it, it was so amazing. And um, here, here's Jenny uh, telling us a little bit about their presentation during the MOTAT STEM Fair 2021. When did this start, Jenny? So it's the first time na ah, invite na Today lang, hindi pa kahapon? Hindi, today lang. Oh. Tapos first time ng GNS mag-participate. Kasi every year yata may ganito ang moda. Mm. Pero uh, first time nila na-invite ang GNS kasi nabalitaan nila na meron kami ng AR sandals. Ah, okay. K can you mention again ano, yung, ano nga yun? Sa saan siya pwedeng hanapin? So, Ayun, so if you want to learn more about the sandbox, if you want to build your own sandbox, you Google AR Sandbox and it will lead you to a website of University of California Davis. And then there's a link to the downloading of the software. There's a link to the instructions if you want to make your own sandbox. So if you have an Xbox 360 camera, they don't make that anymore. So the one that we have, we got it from Trade Me for 20 bucks. Uh, the projector is expensive if you get it brand new. But many schools now have lots of those because they don't use projectors anymore. They use TV. So if yeah, so if you follow the instructions in there, you can make your own sandbox. So it's a good tool to teach kids about topography, landscape, and because you can make virtual rain with the software, with the sandbox, it's also a good way of teaching kids that where would the water flow, if it rains, where would the water go. And it can also be used to teach like for sea level rise. So it might be, imagine melting the Antarctica ice sheet and the cause of sea level to rise. So if the kids can make like small islands in the sand, it will show them like which sort of island would drown, uh, how high the island should be or the elevation should be. So yeah. So in the future, we are planning to interface the software of the sandbox with another software that does coastal modeling. So those who do modeling like for tides, currents, sea level rise, if they can show what happens to a certain coastline if the tides change, if the currents change, they can show it on 3D on the sandbox instead of showing the result of your modeling on a computer screen, which is flat. And in real time, like if a community says, I want to build a port here, or I want to uh, make a anti-erosion uh, structure here, it will show you readily the effects. Yeah. So what is this exhibit? The uh, so yan, ginagamit namin pang turo ng mga maps. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Kasi usually yung ito, pag mapa lang, it's flat. Oh, yeah. So, hindi agad madaling maintindihan ng mga bata kung ano yung sapin namin yung mga manager sa GNS. Sino sa inyo yung may extra funds uh, so that we can go. So, like yung ito, may dalawang departments ang naghati mm -hmm. para mapadala ka dito. Okay. Kasi yung sa Rotorua naman, yung... Um, Vision Motora, Maturang uh, program namin kasi it's a Maori school so sila naman ang magpa-fund ng trip tomorrow. 
So if we can get funding from the council, Halimbawa, we can invite you also to present to yeah. maybe not a school but to a bigger, like a community, parang ganun. Mm. And GNS staff, yung iba na meron mga projects na may stakeholder engagement, mm -hmm. sabi namin they can borrow the sandbox. Yeah. Kasi minsan, wala namang connection yung landscape dun sa project nila, kung mayroon earthquakes. Wala namang connection. Pero minsan, it's just an a way to break the ice to start a conversation. Thank you very much, Jenny Ann Barreto of GNS Sciences. And thank you also to our listeners and viewers for uh, tuning in to PSTV5 online. I'm Rene Molina. Thank you and see you again next time.